High School. Today is May 8th, 2020, and welcome to the weekly morning announcements. So in the spirit of morning announcements being produced for students, by students, today we have numerous clips from the students. We have four segments. First, let's learn about this day in history. Then we will show you a fun fact. Then we have three students and one teacher describe what they are doing during the COVID lockdown. And then we have two seniors sharing their favorite high school memories. Take a look. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Leo Tufts Medical Center, a.k.a. Not Receiving Hairline. Back at it again. None of us can get haircuts because of this coronavirus thing. And it's starting to get really annoying that my hair is starting to make my eyes grow red. Anyway, I've got, I'm here to tell you some stuff that happened on this day in history. In 1942, World War II, the Battle of Coral Sea came to an end. In 1977, the legendary American rock and roll group, The Grateful Dead, played what is thought by many to be the most legendary and mind-bending show ever. And in 1978, the first ascent of Mount Everest without supplemental oxygen by Reynold Mesner and Peter Havlet. Have a nice weekend, guys. Hey everyone, today's May 8th, and on this day in history, in 1884, President Harry Truman was born. He went on to be president from 1945 to 1953 and was a part of the Democratic Party. So, happy birthday, Harry. That's some great history. Back to you Adam guys. is around 99.99% empty space, making everything in the universe mostly nothing, including your body, which, by the way, is constantly replacing its cells, so much so that every 10 years, your entire body has replaced itself. Every atom in your body is different now, meaning you have no more in common with your previous self than any other human being that's lived or will ever live. Be a lazy bum like this during quarantine. Instead, see if you can touch your toes. Or maybe you can even just stretch. That's it for week one. And remember to stay active. How I'm dealing with the pandemic is when it's nice out, I definitely try to get outside and I'll either go play tennis with my family, go kayaking or just hang out in the backyard. And when I'm at work or if I happen to go to the grocery store, I definitely have my mask on and I just try to stay away from people. Hi guys, three things that I've been doing to keep myself busy during quarantine is puzzles, taking my dog for lots of walks, and helping my parents with yard work. Good. So Mr. Levitt says to send some video on what we've been doing while we're in quarantine. I've been doing a little renovation. So I'm gonna take this wall down today. My favorite high school memory is definitely my senior night volleyball game this past fall. It's my favorite high school memory because I just got to play with all my best friends and all of our friends and family came and supported and it was just a lot of fun. One of my favorite high school memories would definitely have to be meeting Filippo. Not only was he one of my best friends, but he helped me make many other friendships that have lasted even after he now. left. And he was just a really big part of my junior year, considering we spent pretty much every day together. And we made so many memories that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Wow, great stuff. Glad to hear from all those students. They did a great job. Now, this past Wednesday, four F-15 Eagles from the Massachusetts Air National Guard flew over several hospitals to pay tribute to all the men and women on the front lines of the COVID crisis. They did this all across Massachusetts. Here's a video. Are I love jets and don't worry this flight did not cost any extra money to taxpayers as it was part of normal exercises by the Air National Guard. Shout out to Miss Hebert. Ooh, ooh. So last weekend Sutton High School held its first ever Walk Out of Darkness campus walk, albeit virtually. Here is a video about the event. Check it out.
work to all those involved and great job, Sydney. Great job raising that money. Lastly, here are the clips of the week. Enjoy them and have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Be good, take care. Come on, good photo. That's a good one.